Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Bumseti. Today we'll see top 20 snowflake intro questions. So let us discuss one by one. Question one. So these are the basic questions. What is snowflake? Snowflake is a cloud-based data warehouse, mainly for data storage, data processing, and data analytical. So it's mainly for OL API. It's an analytical solution. Next question is that what? What is your role? Our role will be Snowflake developer or Snowflake data engineer okay so these are important snowflake developer and snowflake data engineer okay how many ways we can log into snowflake it can be logged in using the help of snow site ua classic console and snow sql okay see so snow site and classic console these are the user interface snow sql is the cli that is command line interface next question is what so database creation. So these are the basic things you should know. Okay, so database creation syntax is create database database name or create or replace database database name. Same thing, schema creation. So create schema schema name or create or replace schema schema name. And remember one thing, this databases schemas will be done by Snowflake admin. Okay, so Snowflake admin will create the databases, schemas, the user IDs, passwords, roles, all these things will be done by Snowflake admin. Next question is data sources. Okay, see Oracle, SQL Server, MySQL, DB2, PostGre, SAP HANA, Hadoop, Greenplum, Neteja, Teradata. There are so many things are amazing. So, so where Snowflake is mainly for data migration project, it can be any source, Oracle database, SQL Server, MySQL, DB2, PostgreSQL. From this, all these databases depends on the company. We should migrate from one data source to Snowflake. It can be any anything. So if you work for any Snowflake developer project, it's like a Snowflake data Snowflake data migration. So moving from one data from one data to Snowflake, it can be any database, Oracle, Teradata. Okay. The next question is that what? How to see list of tables? It can be show tables. By using this keyword, we can able to see list of tables. Same thing. So how to see list of tables with the help of query? Select star from information schema dot tables. Okay, by, by using this view, also we can able to figure out. One is show tables or like select star from information schema dot tables. We can able to figure out. Same thing. Next question is that one. So which cloud Snowflake supports? It supports AWS, Azure, and GCP, Amazon Web Services, okay, Microsoft, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. So Snowflake supports multi-cloud, AWS, Azure, and GCP. Similar fashion, so does truncate is DML or DDL? In Snowflake, truncate is a DML, okay, so DML. So in normal database, it's a DDL, but in Snowflake, truncate is a DML. In a similar fashion, next question is from, does DML is like insert, update, truncate, merge, Okay, or auto commitable in Snowflake, DMLs no need of explicit commit get automatically committed. One more time. So in Snowflake, DMLs are automatically committed. No need to put explicitly commit or rollback. Same thing. Next question is that um, how to find Snowflake version. See, so remember, these are basic things, but are very, very important. As a Snowflake developer, you should understand. So by using select current version, we can able to figure out. By using select current version, we can able to figure out. Same thing. Next question is. Um, which are Snowflake edition, standard edition, enterprise, business critical, and virtual VPS, that is virtual private Snowflake. Okay, standard edition, enterprise edition, business critical, and VPS. So mostly use enterprise, business critical. If it is more sensitive, you'll go for VPS, like banking data, we can able to get. Same thing, next question is set from. So scope of the project, mainly Snowflake is for data migration project. Okay, just now discuss. So we need to move from Oracle database, or MySQL, or DB2, all this thing, you know, because of performance or cost, you know, all the companies are moving to Snowflake. So like a data migration problem, moving the data from one source to different sources. Same thing, next question is that, um, so SQL statement. So these are very, very important. Okay, see, so we're having DDL, DML, DCL, DRL, and DCL. So DML, so insert, update, delete, merge, truncate. So truncate is a DML in Snowflake. So these are important. If you want to communicate the Snowflake with the help of SQL, we are trying to communicate. Next question is that what? So reporting tools like, okay, so reporting tools are visualization tools. Okay, or BA tool, business. It can be 
Power BI, Tableau, Click Sense, Click U. There's so many things are there. Okay, so most popular Power BI and Tableau use the things. Okay, sir, visualization tool or reporting tools or business intelligence tool. Okay. Next question is sir, what? So which methodology you are following? Okay, we are following Agile methodology. Okay, there have mainly we are having waterfall and Agile. So right now every company is using Agile methodology. Next question is sir, what? So ticketing tools. So Zira. Azure DevOps, Monday.com, ServiceNow. These are the ticketings. Depends on the company, these tools will be very, but we need to track those things. We should go for Jira, Azure DevOps, Monday.com, ServiceNow. Next question is that what? So database environments. Okay, so just now discuss. It's a development database, testing, UAT, prod. So there are some. So development, testing, user acceptance testing, SIT, system integration testing. So sandbox, pre-prod production. So these are the database environment. Okay, so, so when you're going to we should work in the development instance, test instance, user acceptance, and prod. Same thing, next question is that word. Code repository. We should maintain the code in one place. That is called as either GitHub or Bitbucket. Okay, so depends on the company. There are some companies have their own tools and technologies. Okay, so mostly most probably GitHub or Bitbucket. Okay, so remember these are the basic things, but very very important. Okay, so as a Snowflake developer, you should know all these things. Okay, if you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.